Hey guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 45 of Minecraft Season 3. And I have been crafting a bit. I set up this high voltage charging bench. I don't remember if I did that in the last episode, but I needed a way to charge up my suit. And oh dear lord, I'm running low on energy. I better switch off the mass fabricator. Let's do that. Mass fab is now off and... I have a lot of iridium. Okay, let it finish that one. There we go. So that I can actually get one more iridium ore. There we go. So, basically, what I've done between this and the last episode isn't a lot. I've been just sitting around. I've been uh, running my mining rig. Why is that going down still? Oh. Because that one isn't full. Oh, uh, I've been running the mining drill and uh, I have a lot of rubber now. Uh, I'll show you the reason why in a moment. So you can see here I've also made some Lapidron crystals, which might hint you guys at what I'm going to be doing this uh, episode. So, um, we ran into osmium and a lot of it. Um, we also have a fair deal of tin and copper. Iron is starting to look very respectfully well now. Gold, very good. And look at the diamonds. So, um, let me hop to the overworld and directly to my quarry. Okay, so, this is a deep hole in... Yeah, I'm taking off the power armor and suit and the tool because I get more speed that way. And we can jump. Whee! That's mad. I know. Uh, so, as you can see here, it's osmium, by the way. And uh, can be dug out like anything else, but I have way too much of it. So, if I see any diamonds, I'm going to have to stop and dig them. But the chances are that I'll miss them. Mm, yeah. Did I manage to make myself a new linking book? No. Hey, it's an obstacle course. Look at this. Way hoo. Woohoo. So, some updates. I um, had a nasty event uh, with a hard drive, uh, external hard drive in one of these chassis thingies. It actually. Um, overheated. And here's the thing, the external hard drive is where I store all my videos. So, was that diamonds? Yes! Can't have enough of them. Um, that's where I store all my rendered videos. And also <laughs> the icons for the videos and all the work material was on that drive. However, um, I haven't checked yet if that drive is corrupt or not. It most probably is, which is going to be a problem at first. Well, I thought it would be, uh, until I realized that now would be the time for me to uh, invest in some new hardware. And first I thought about buying myself a... Uh, oh, hello, spider. Buying myself a um, uh, new hard drive, probably an SSD and work from that. And darn, this is far off. Far into the wild. What is that thing up there? I don't want to know. Is this even going to have enough torches? Well, anyhow, I thought I'd buy a new SSD at first to record, um, but then I realized that what I am really needing is not a new recording hard drive but some storage so I have invested in a network attached storage uh, NAS and um, right now I am sitting on 5400 gigabytes worth of storage drive I think that's gonna do for a while that's 5.4 terabytes. I am pretty sure this is gonna do for... Whoa, hello! For quite some time. Hey, I found it! It's still going? Didn't I turn it off? Wow. 
Um, hello. Oh, it's not even halfway. <laughs> um, do I have leather? Yes, I do. Leather, paper. Oh, and there I fell off. Imagine having to run back now. I'm just gonna make myself another book here. That's a linking book. Boom. Now I'll have a faster way of getting back here. And uh, my dog is totally going wild. So let's rename this to... Quarry. And there is... What are you doing here? What are you doing here, guys? You're inspecting my logistic pipe system up there. That's fine with me. As long as you don't cause any trouble. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this one and we'll put it there and we'll take that one. So now we can go back and be a little bit closer to the quarry. Perfect. Anyhow, so I have plenty of storage space now which should make it possible for me to... I just had to stop the dog there. Um... It will make it possible for me to um, uh, render larger portions. I really need to make a new cow, cow farm. Um, but... What was I saying? Yeah, I'll be able to uh, handle a lot more data. And raw data-wise, that would be something like... Uh, let's see more than enough. I usually record it um, taking up, I don't know, uh, a lot of space, but not that much. So I'll be able to store a lot, and I'll be able to record from that machine as well, which is very nice. And here's that annoying blink thing again. Okay, so I have set up a little system down here. Let me show you. It's fairly simple. I stole the design from someone I don't know who. One of the YouTubers, probably. It's, um... One of these. It's the packagers from Factorization. And uh, I'm sending all my Psychorium through unassigned, but it gets handled, which means it won't go to white. And it goes into this sorting machine, actually into this chest, where it's uh, a temporary storage. And this will only pull out this amount, and nothing else. And it will send it down into this uh, packager, which then will be crafting the blocks. So I will get uh, Psychorium blocks, which uh, makes the storage a little bit better. Sort of like optimizing the storage. So, yeah. Anyhow! What do I want to do for this episode? Well, I am quite enjoying this power armor. However, the flight in this um, isn't the fastest. And this is the fastest I can go on flight. I haven't managed to go any faster at all. And that's because I have added some diamond plating to it. And I can increase it, but this temperature temperature, the weight will be so bad that I won't be able to... Yeah. I wonder if it's this model that causes that flickering. Or if there is some kind of thunder going on. I don't know. Yeah, so I am going to make the quantum suit. Just because I can. And we have something to compare to. We can play with both toys. So, I'm gonna need a lot of things. But first, let's craft the quantum boots, leggings, body armor, and we have all these, and the helmet. I don't have that or that, but that's easy enough. So let's start with the boots. I've already crafted up these, and I have those already. Um, so it's like this, and that, and the Lapiton crystal. Quantum suit boots. They hold a lot of EU. Now, the leggings. We have those. Let's grab the helmet as well. 
Um, we're going to need... I wonder what is causing all this flicker. Huh. Let's grab all these. We're going to need some of those. I'm not sure if we're going to need those. I'm definitely going to need those. Let's dump that. We are going to need to make some of those. Alright, so the next step, we're also going to need some glowstone, so I might as well go get that. Also, I am really, really full on redstone, so I'm thinking about maybe... Let's do that and put the redstone in here. Oops. Can I access that? Yes. Nine redstone. That should be enough, right? Yep, redstone will now go in here. No, it will not. Damn. There is a filter here as well. I forgot about that completely. There we go. Redstone. Okay. Let's put everything back that I broke. And where is the other... That probably went into the filter or the sorting machine. Uh... This this can be annoying. Let's uh, <laughs> let's get a cover. So yeah, let's get back to what I was doing. Right, I was crafting the boots, the leggings. I have the boots. Um, let's uh, do this and this and this and this. We're slowly building power. That's very good because soon I'm gonna be spending a lot of that power. Um, the boots need iridium on the sides uh, the lapatron crystal there and that and that and then we're gonna need to use this two of those two machine blocks and we have the quantum suit leggings now we're going to need the helmet. This one is a bit trickier. I'm going to need to make these. But for that, I have the advanced circuit and the electronic and the copper cable. So let's get some copper. Let's get some redstone, some glowstone, and some lapis. And we will start with the copper cable. We will need a total of two. That's good. So electric. I don't have... Oh, I do. Two. And that's the advanced. Two. And for that we're also going to need one of these Lapidon crystals. We need the helmet and we need the iridium plates. And then we're going to need to make... Oh, not that. The reinforced glass. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glass. I can do that, I think. Okay, that's a bit low. <laughs> we'll be fine. I have a whole bunch of sand there, so I won't run out of glass anytime soon. And if we craft it like this. We have a lot of reinforced glass. We don't need that much, we just need one. And we have the quantum suit helmet. And the last one is the body armor. Let me just find my quantum body armor. I am pretty sure that I have one. Well, not quantum body armor, but you know what I mean. Hum. Question is, was that destroyed in my backpack incident? Probably was. Ooh, I'm gonna need to upgrade this chest. Uh, 
Yeah, that was definitely destroyed in my backpack incident because I know I had a full set. Let me just check one more bag. No, that's an empty one, I think. Empty. And do I have any more backpacks in there? No. I will check. If not, I have absolutely no hesitations at giving myself one. Oh, not that one. Dear Lord. No. <laughs> Let's uh, get the body, the nanosuit one. I'll give it without energy, so I don't cheat in a lot of energy in my system. Okay. I know that I have one, so... Yeah. Three of those, four of those, and the Lapton Crystal. Expensive. And like that. Oh, it's like that. Body armor. Now, these buggers, they use up a lot of EU. Look at that. That's gonna drain my power a bit. Now, I'm not done yet, because the quantum suit body armor can be made into the gravity chest plate. But for that, we're gonna need a lot of things. So, we're gonna start with these. Actually, let's make two engines. Each engine requires a Tesla coil cooling core, an HV transformer, and a superconductor. Now, let me just write that down. For Tesla, we need two um, conductors, two cooling cores, and one HV transformer. That's just for one. How do you make the Tesla coil? Well, these are easy. These are easy. Um, Jakes, these are not even half charged. Oh, they are. So the quantum suit has some interesting features. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out the controls for these. Uh, there's the boost key, which is currently there. I will use F. Actually, I'll use G, and Gravity Fly will be there. I don't understand how these work. Let's, uh,. Trash the keys for this one. There we go. Okay. Okay. I don't know how these works, but they're fast. I like that. Holy, they're fast. Ow. Also, I got stuck inside something there. Also, they help me survive a lot of things, but let's not end there. I am very interested in having the... Uh, I want to have some form of boost key. Okay, let's see. You have the boost mode switch. These are the ones used for... What about C? Nope. I know there is a way to boost my jump speed using the quantum suit boots. If anyone can tell me, Happy to get to know about that, yep. Anyhow, let's uh, continue crafting. We're gonna need to make the Tesla coils first. What's the Tesla again? Oh. The Tesla coil is... Electric circuits, 
two of them, we're going to need two, four of them, we're going to need eight of them. So we need eight circuits. So eight Tesla needs eight circuit, sixteen, sixteen reinforced iron and eight MV transformers, as well as a whole deal of redstone. Let's start with that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just grab, let's say, two stacks, three stacks. And we will make the transformers first. We're going to need eight of those. That's eight. And of course, we're going to need a whole deal of these. I think that's 12. Whoa. Totally not get uh, used to the fast speed of that yet. And let's get the two insulated MV transformers, there we go. And the Tesla is then um, copper cables. We need one, two, how many? That was three, we need more copper. Four, five, six, seven, eight circuits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circuits. That was exactly the amount I needed. The circuits go there. The MV transformers there. Reinforced iron there as well. Reinforced, refined iron there. And that. That's four. Okay, so that was that. We need to make the cooling cores. How do we do these? Oh, these are expensive. Empty cell does not make that, I think. Empty cell makes water cell. Yeah, coolant cell. That's going to be another recipe. Oh yeah. Dense copper and 10k coolant cells used for the 30k which is then used twice. So we're going to need a whole deal of these. Glad I have a lot of tin. Let's see. I don't know exactly how many, but I'm going to make one stack. And we're going to need a whole set of... Actually, we have down here. Let's make a whole set of these. Isn't there a transposer? A liquid transposer somewhere I can use? There is one, back home. Down here. Over there. This is the liquid transposer I can use. And while it will pull into here, I can just grab it from there. And uh, hold on a moment, guys. Alright. Don't have much time, I realized, but I made uh, the plans for the 30k coolant cell, which we need to use with tin and dense copper plates. So we're gonna have to press a lot of copper. Let's just do this. Right, so I figured out how to jump, and uh, that's the boost key, and wow, I like the jumping. Um, I am seeing a fair deal of frame rate lag right now. I think it's related to the quarry. And at the moment I don't think I really need so many 
more. Oh. Oh, look at that. Can't really not take that, right? Okay, I think our quarry ran out of torches. Uh, let's uh, grab 16 of those. And a stack of those. Wow, look at the amount of bats over there. I'm glad I'm not afraid of bats. But it has stopped now. Let's uh, put down a whole bunch of torches on the way to the quarry and boing and quarry. I think you should stop now. Okay, it's been reset. I've done a few code changes in there. I'll show you that later, but. Um, I'm gonna let this one be for now. Ooh, look at that. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyhow, what have we done so far in this episode? Not a lot. I've been talking and talking and talking and very little actual action, so to say. So this here is the garbage chute, by the way. Anything that goes in there? is very well handled by being sent into lava. Anyhow, one of those, and we're going to need to make more of those. One, two, three, and another one of those. I don't suppose they stack? No. I'm going to set up the recipe for, for the 60Ks. It's just using a lot of tin, not a lot of other things, really. How many do we need? Probably a lot more. I'm gonna need 16 of those, so we're gonna need at least 16 dense copper plates. At least. Look at that. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I suppose crafting it is. So, we should probably make space in our inventory. So, let me get rid of a few things. And uh, that should be it. Actually, that should be it. Like so. Um, because what I should do is I should make the 10 case as many as I can because then we need to make the 30 case can I make another 10k now three okay so how many of these do I have Okay, we're not even halfway there. That's going to need a lot of these. So I'm going to be crafting these for a while now. And I'm going to be using this one as my storage. I'm going to need a total of, since these are the 30s, I need 32. More than this one. Yeah, I know what I'll be doing. More tin uh, is what I need. Not what I'd be doing. If I'd be doing that, something would be wrong. And we do the 30k ones. Like so. And we put these in there. And I'll be doing this off camera for the rest of this episode because we are on time. I will continue crafting between this and the next episode. And uh, in the next episode I should have 
everything ready to just finish up this whole thing. I won't show all the quantum, uh, the gravity suit uh, uh, pieces on camera because it's just too much a pain. In that episode, I want to start with some more stuff. I need to get my boilers running here because I can't rely on the ones back home. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.